Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on with a tutorial. This was highly requested. Um, I had recently sh showcased this little mini album um, featuring these nesting dies that I recently received. And I got a lot of requests on how I created this mini album. Um, I have shared mini albums several times before. I've I shared this one using nesting dies and this is my most recent. Um, I think I made my first mini album back in, I want to say 2014, maybe was my first mini album that I actually shared on YouTube. It was a Halloween um, scrapbook that I made out of chipboard. That was my very first one. I'll leave the link in the um, description box if you want to check it out. But I have been making mini albums over the years um, and I've made several. I think I have over 30 uh, types of mini albums that I've made videos on YouTube that I have shared over the years. They are so much fun to create, but what's different about these little mini albums is that it requires no chipboard. This is a simple form <laughs> of making a mini scrapbook using your nesting dies. I was inspired by Nicole here on YouTube, and she is the designer of these beautiful dies. Um, she shared how she created a mini album using the nesting dies, and that is how I was inspired. Um, she shares the tutorial and I will link the tutorial in the description box below. Since I had received so many requests for a tutorial, I decided that I would go ahead and make one, but I will leave her tutorial in the description box below if you'd like to reference hers and see what she created. All right, so let's get started. Um, so what I'm gonna show you today is how to create this particular mini album. And like I said, you can use any nesting die that's in your stash. As long as it has a straight edge, you're good to go. If it doesn't have a straight edge and it's, you know, say it has a wonky side on this side and maybe a wonky side on that side, all you would do is cut a straight edge on one side and then there you go. You'd have um, a straight edge to uh, make your album. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. I'm gonna bring my die cut machine over here because we're gonna be doing some die cutting. And what I'm doing is, let me just show you this die real, real quick. I'm gonna use this nesting set. I'm taking the largest die from this nesting set. Um, you, can use, you can make any size, a mini album that you want. You can make a small one if you want. That would be really fun. Um, just whatever your heart desires. So I'm gonna go ahead and use just the largest one on this side. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to um, get your paper. So I've already done some prep and I've got my paper. I made sure that it fits. And what you're gonna determine next is the spine. Like how thick do you want this? Now I decided to go with, let's see. And again, this is totally up to you. I went with an inch and a half. So I uh, scored at an inch and a half to create this base of my book. So you're gonna take two papers and you're gonna score an inch and a half. So you're gonna have one side that looks like this, that looks like this, and then one, looks, one <laughs> that looks like this. As you can see, this flap folds up like this to the right, this flap folds up to the left. So when you just keep that in mind, when you're creating this, you need one of each, right and left. So with this particular one, I'm going to lay it in my die cut machine. You're going to position your die just slightly above the cut line um, so that you can create um, a hinge, just like so. So I'm gonna slightly position it and then I'm going to grab my washi tape and I'm going to position this on my die cut machine and then I guess I'll push my paper, I'll put my paper down here first and then tape it. Once you secure it to your cutting machine, you can run it through and I'd like to turn it at an angle because it cuts easier. So we're going to run it through and I just do it front and back, make sure I get a clean cut. And you're going to remove this And you're gonna see you have a little flap right here, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing to the other piece. 
And this one is going to be facing this way. The flap is gonna open up that way. You need it one on each in each direction. Again, I'm gonna take my washi tape, do the same thing, position it slightly above the cut line to create my little hinge. And I will zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. You see how I'm leaving that little space right there in between the die and the paper? There's just a slight little um, space. That's what's giving me my edge. If you have it too far on your paper, it will not create the pay, it won't create the um, flap. It'll just cut out everything. So you don't want that. All right, so I'll zoom back out so that you can see. And I'll go ahead and die cut this sheet. Place this back on. Slide that slightly at an angle and run it through my die cut machine. And I just do front and back. Okay, we'll take this out. And it's okay if it tears, it's just the hinge is gonna get covered up. So now you have, let me take this, move this out of the way. You have a, a, a hinge going in this way and one going in this way. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect these. And actually I'm gonna make this one go like this since the dotted edge is on the outside. Actually it really won't matter because I'm going to cover it up with uh, my cardstock. So um, you have this one and this one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these edges off right here to create um, a straight edge. So let me just cut really quickly. Cut that off. And again, cut this side. So it looks like this. And I'm gonna cut the same thing on this side, this little round edge, because we want it straight. Cut that side and then flip it over and cut again like so and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue and you're going to adhere your glue so i'm going to use this uh, helmer's glue i just recently picked up at hobby lobby and we're going to glue these together You just want to spread the glue around generously, make sure you get enough. And you're going to take this hinge and glue it together like so. And just press down. And if you want to make sure that you get a clean edge, use your cutting board, don't use scissors, just use a cutting board and that will allow you to get your clean edge that you're looking for. Mine is not perfect because I'm using these scissors. These aren't even my crafting scissors, they're my kitchen scissors, but anyway. So you glue that down and now you see you have a book. Look how cute, already almost done, right? All right, so I'm gonna show you how to create the hinge. All right, so let's create the hinge. So what I did let me bring my scoreboard over here so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So for this particular book, I've already measured out the paper and I will zoom in so that you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go, I'm just gonna make sure that you can see. Um, I cut this hinge at five inches you're gonna take your, your uh, scoring tool and you're gonna score at a half an inch, one inch, one and a half, oops, one and a half inches, two inches, two and a half inches, three inches, three and a half inches, four, and four and a half inches. And I've already did it. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to score it in case you don't know. And so I'll move this out of the way and come back right here so that you can see. So you have all these lines 
And what you're going to do is you're going to basically, this is like a hidden hinge um, binding system. I believe that's what it called. I think it's originally from Kathy Orta. Uh, she's the original person that made that binding system, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to fold Mountain Valley. So, but what you're going to do is you want to just go ahead and crease all of every crease line. And I like to crease everything first because it'll just make it easier when you're handling the paper. And I'm just creasing it. That way it'll be easier. So you're going to leave one flap just flat. And then these next two pieces right here, you're going to fold up like so. Okay, and then this piece right here will lay flat. So I'm going to add my adhesive. So let me find my glue. Here it is. I'm going to add adhesive to one side of the flap. And I'm just going to fold it over and push it down. You can use red line tape or you can use glue. It's totally up to you what you prefer. I'm just pushing down since it's wet glue. And as you can see, it creates your first hinge. Now you can create as many hinges as you want, but for this particular mini album that I made right here, I only wanted three pages. If you want 10 pages, you can make 10 of these little um, hinges and you can have 10 pages in your book. For, for this example, I'm only gonna create three. So um, there's my first hinge. You leave this one flat and then you have these two. You have your little mountain valley. You have your little valley right here. So you're gonna flip that over and add your adhesive. Move that out of the way. And I just fold it over and push down. Um, I'm sorry, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so now I have my second hinge. Then I have a space in between this hinge. And then I'm going to create my last hinge. This will create my third page. So I have three pages in my scrapbook. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add the adhesive on one side. And again, you can use your red line tape, your sticky white tape whatever you choose, whatever is easiest for you. Obviously, red line tape, you don't really have to wait for it to glue or to, uh, you don't have to wait for the glue to dry, but this glue actually dries pretty quickly and um, I'm liking it so far. So there I have my three hinges right here. One, two, three. All right, so we're gonna take the base of our booklet, which is right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to attach your hinge piece to your booklet right here, just like that. So I'm going to take my glue and adhere it to this hinge. And you want to get a generous amount, make sure it's good. And then you just want to make sure you center it. I'm just going to turn it this way so that I can see exactly where I'm positioning this to make sure I've got it centered. And then you just want to go in between each one and burnish it. Just press down and you can even fold the flaps down. This helps with creating the page flap so they move easy. Um, I do recommend that you use some heavyweight cardstock when you create your base of your book. That'll give it some stability. That's what I normally do. And then um, you can go back in and layer it with your pattern paper and it will be, you know, sturdy enough where you, it will, it will last. This is, you know, will last a long time. It's not flimsy at all. Okay, so I attached the hinge. Now there is this little piece right here where I had glued the hinge. So um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. Let me zoom in. Right here is where the book is gonna fold. But I, um, there's a little a score line right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my scoreboard and just score it right there on that line so that my book will fold. 
Um, you can go back and before you glue it down and cut that little piece off if you want to. It's totally up to you. I just decided to leave it. Um, and again, I'll do that on this side right here. I will score on this little line right here. This is where, so I can fold my book in. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my scoreboard right now and fold it in so that you guys can see. So we can close the book. So I'm just gonna line this up and I hope that you guys can see what I'm doing. It doesn't even matter where you position it, just making sure that you can see where you need to score. So I'm just going to use my score tool and just make a score line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I'm just lining it up with a score line and creating a score mark so that I can fold my book. And I'm just gonna put pinch down on my score line. And there, you see, it's nice. It's um, folded in. Now my book folds. I can open and close, no problem. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to take your pattern paper and you're gonna want to cover up each side. So you can cover it up this in the inside right here and you cover it up on the inside on this side and you see this part gets covered up, the hinge part gets covered up you can do a different color tinge. It doesn't have to be white. On um, this particular mini album that I made, I did it with the balloon paper. You see, I used the balloon paper for my hinge. So you can do um, a different color hinge. It's totally up to you um, what, what you decide on doing. Uh, but this one, for the example, is just all one color. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to attach the actual pages. So you're gonna go back and you're going to die cut out two, four, six, six pages of heavyweight cardstock. I'm just gonna show you how to attach the first page so you get the idea. But basically what you'll do is you'll turn your book like this and you're going to take your first page and you're going to want to line it up on your hinge. And before you do that, I like to just snip at an angle like so so that you get a, a nice clean edge and nothing is uh, showing through when, you're, when you attach your little page, if that makes sense. Let me just go in so I can show you. I snipped on the side like in a V shape at an angle. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and I, I recommend wet glue for this part. You can use sticky tape if you want but I like the fact that the wet glue it gives you time to move the paper in case you didn't center it correctly. So I just line it up and make sure that it's centered and then push down. And I just push down for a second since I am using wet glue. And that should be good. And then I'm gonna turn it over. So I have my first page attached. I'm going to turn it over on this side and attach my other page, again, using wet glue. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of wet glue right here. And on this side, actually, you're going to want to put adhesive all over this page because you want it to adhere to the other page completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my adhesive all over this page. And then we have the, the glue right here, the adhesive right there on the hinge so that you can attach it. And you just carefully line it up and press down. And it looks like everything is lined up. And once you make sure it is, then you can go back and smooth it around, varnish it with a scoring tool if you have one. And there you have your first page in your scrapbook. This is so simple to do.
And now you have your heavyweight cardstock that you used, and then you're gonna go back and you can cover it with your decorative pattern paper. And then you can go in again and layer if you want and decorate it however you choose. So um, that is how you create the pages. That's how you attach them. And you're gonna go and do that again um, two more times for this three page mini album. Um, I hope this makes sense. It's super simple. If you have any questions, definitely leave them in the description box down below. That is how you create this super simple mini album. I hope that this tutorial was easy to follow. I hope that you are inspired to make one. Please check the description box below for product links and information that I've given to you on today's video. Uh, leave a comment and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. Bye for now.